Hello and welcome to another video. This one is going to be on ballpoint corners. Uh, we're going to do some, uh, there's a quicker methods now than my last video. So I wanted to kind of just show you guys how to how to do that. I'm not sure when they implemented this uh, corner blend tool here under in, a, in an under surface in the palette, but it's it's quite robust. So let me show you guys how to use that and uh, and the results you get and also how to fix it when uh when you know some when the things don't go perfectly right so the first thing we need is just a bunch of fillets right so i'm gonna activate my fillet tool and then here we got to remember to make it explicit control five and five um and then and for surface type multiple surface we might have to change that in a couple in a, in a couple situations that I, but, but i'll show you i'll show you once they get there right so this well, for this presentation i don't want it that i don't want it that big so let's uh th this one will do all where they're all equal this uh you know all these we'll just kind of like make them all all equal like that like that like that and then on this side we'll make it so that so that one side is um that so one side is bigger than the rest right so i'll do two that are like 10 and then i'll do one big one right like that like that like that like that right and then we'll do another one but this one will make it like 20. like that like that and everything's completely random in the sense of like because you know sometimes these cor these corners are random you know that that when you come up you know, a lot of that, a lot of those fillets are based on other conditions, not on the corners condition, right? All right. So once we have that, I'm gonna uh, now now we're gonna activate this corner blend tool, right? So make sure it's curvature, uh, and then explicit control and, and everything. And this is like super uh, super important trim convert. All right. So you uh, uh you select these, right? And then you press uh, uh accept or space bar. And then you choose what side you want it to be. So I'm gonna choose this side. See, and now it just gave me a nice little, it gave me a nice little fillet or corner like that. And it basically did everything that I would do by hand, you know, and so it's extremely, it's extremely powerful too, and it saves you a lot of time. So, so I highly suggest that you, um, uh, you know, take a look at it and experiment with it. And then if you notice when I clicked it, it didn't, it didn't really, it didn't do anything right uh so so basically what it, it, it kind of the fir your first like sort of like um your best chance to make it work is to choose another another face right and usually how i choose it, this becomes a bit more intuitive once you do like a million of these but it's uh it's um you know usually what i try to do is whatever has the more like obtuse angle i'll choose the counter of that right so like these two are kind of wide so i'll choose that one uh i'll choose this one i press enter and so now we got that right and then if you see here, this is a, uh, this is actually pretty good in the sense of, uh, of the spacing, but like, if you need, if you want to change this, you know, you go here and you press like five, right. Or, or maybe like higher, you go seven. Right. And so now that if we see the, the actual surface layout, right, we didn't get, we, we didn't get tangency here and, and, um, and we didn't get curvature here. So now, now that I kind of like, I'm happy with the result in terms of like the layout, I'm going to uh, hide, uh, delete the history, pressing W and my, that's in my, uh, hotkeys. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the, the first thing is the tangency and the tangency break is here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, grab this CV. I might be able to fix it with this CV. And then I'm going to, I'm going to use my transform CV tool. And I want you guys to kind of notice this because it's kind of important. Uh, so if I press control shift C, it, it activates this tool and I press space bar. It's my sound, my mouse sensitivity is a thousand, right? And if I, if I click around, you see how it's moving a lot and it's like, it shouldn't really move that much. Right. It's because that's kind of set up on the overall like file, right. Or, or like, you know, the, the, that's like the default. And then we're kind of like looking at a small corner to kind of readjust that and make it so that it's proportional to what you're working with to uh, select the the surface that you're looking for. And then, um, uh, and then press Alt L to look at it, right. And that basically kind of resets the, the, the proportioning of it. And so now 
if I select this corner and press Control Shift C, it's the same tool we just used. But now when I move it around, now it's extremely, it's extremely, um, you know, um, it's extremely uh, sensitive, right? So this one, I'm wondering if I could fix it here like this. No. So I'm going to go to this one and then I'm going to press Shift C. And there. I just, and I moved it so little that I didn't even break the tolerance of the positional here. And then and then here too. So here. And then this is also another point that I wanted to make in the sense of like a lot of times um managers or uh you know people or even yourself, you'll be you'll be sticklers to these like letters, you know, and it's to me it's very much like if especially when we're talking about smaller fillets, it's it's really good to think about this and in, in big, you know, um body sides and like big hood elements, stuff like that. But when we're talking about tiny fillets, um, if you see right now, I'm going to fix this curvature error. I, I'm only moving it. I'm moving it less than a, a tenth of a millimeter. You know, that's that's like the, the width of a, like like a hair. So it's not really like so. So like, look, I'm going to go like that and there. So it's like now I got all the curvature and everyone's happy. But it's like, you know, what was really, you know, that 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 movement wasn't ever going to be uh, it wasn't going to show up later in the manufacturing process because even man, the tolerances of the manufacturing aren't that like refined, you know, so it's a, uh, so to a certain extent, like, obviously it's, it's important to understand how to get curvature and all that. But as I also, you know, don't be killing yourself over it, you know, because it's really not, you know, the end of the world. So, um, but there is a lot of, um, like stuff to learn in terms of ballpoint corners, right? Because we do have this corner and this corner, you know that that you have to like sort of it becomes a little bit more intuitive with what you, which one you choose but that's something that's very like um you know with with a lot of practice and and that's why i, I made so many it help you know you'll start to kind of figure out which is the right corner for it right and, and even, even to some extent that the tool will not uh, work on certain corners and they will on others so like here i'll go like that and then like let me see if i can get this corner yeah this corner see it didn't work so if I, I got to do it again, and then let me choose this corner, see this corner didn't work, and I choose again, and I would choose this corner, oh, whoops, then this corner, and see, and this corner did work, All right? And again, let's say I wanted to fix that, I go here, uh, delete the history, there you go, right? And then, uh, yeah, and so so we just kind of, and, and that's basically, you know, how, how the tool works with these, Whenever there's a wider, whenever there's a bigger fillet, the easiest uh, turn to make is going to be counter to the bigger fillet, right? So if I if I activate the tool again, I'm gonna go like this, like this, like this, enter, and then press this one, enter, like that. And if you see how much they're getting like bent that way, um, it's because here in base radius, let's give it a little more, a little more room, right? Because that because that one's bigger, right? And and there and look, it's it's like amazing because like. Before it used to take me such a long. It, it takes like you know, uh, you could maybe cut it down to like I don't know four like four minutes and stuff. But now it's just you know just child's play at this point. Not child's play because it's very difficult. But this tool is a very robust and whoever developed this, I want to thank you. If you ever see this video, thank you so much. Um, so uh, let me, I wish I had it earlier in my career, honestly. So here's the same thing, right? Let's uh let's turn on that video that that um that corner blend and then we're gonna go like that, like that, like that. And then we're going to choose this one. And there you go. Uh, now we are, the only thing we lost was was tangency here, right? And then um, and then uh, so uh, tangency means that it's going to be this one, right? Uh, and I don't want to lose curvature here. So there's a couple things I could do. It looks like it could go this way. So I'm going to go like that, uh, my arrows, and then move it this way. And then I'll probably... I'm thinking maybe if I maybe off the normal, let's see. Yeah, and then here, uh, control shift Z off the normal. And there you go. So even the, if the tool doesn't work, it still uh, it still gives you a pretty a pretty good result or you know, you could still just kind of like uh, uh, refine it yourself, you know, so uh, so yeah, that's how you use that tool. And, um, you know, I highly recommend you guys try everything out. Uh, you know, uh, whoops, not that one. And, you know, just keep seeing different results, see what works, see what doesn't work. 
and you know move that around but honestly it's it's quite robust it's quite like you know in this i thought i thought in this one we'll get we might get a couple that just didn't work oh there you go see this one okay so here here it's a little it's a, the angle is a little crazier so the tool didn't really want to work and let me see if it even works with like different like faces well it kind like it kind of worked like that but it, but not really uh you know so it kind because in this sort of situation the best thing would be this right and so and so we're basically let me let me uh now that we have this situation i'll i'll, uh, I'll show you guys how to you know basically do these ball point ballpoint corners by hand for when the tool fails right and and we're going to come up with a very similar result to this you know like if we kind of analyze what's going on you know it's like the the best thing is is when this is following you know it's fall it has it has edge line to to this edge right and um and then and then so all of these are also sort of like connected to each other right so let's uh do that but we're going to do that by hand uh, another thing I forgot to mention: this file it's available in my website for free, and um, and then here it has a hundred, and then here it has a four hundred, and then here it has an, another four hundred, so that you guys can have endless practice. Um, and that's in my in the alias uh, section of my website. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's do this one. You know, what I was thinking. I wonder if I just extend this like this. I wonder if that will help the tool. Let's see. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so uh, if the tool doesn't work, just extend things out a little more. And then that usually, well, not usually, I don't know if usually, but that will probably, that will help out. So let's go like 15. Let's see, and there you go. Mm, I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Well, I guess let's say that this tool didn't work, right? Uh, let's do undo all. So now what I, I what you do is uh is the first of all let me I will isolate them. The first thing I do is we move this back and and um and basically you want these aligned, right? And just because we're already rebuilding it, I'll just uh I'll just do this, make sure it's edge align, edge align, and like this, edge align and edge align, like that. And then and then for these, you can you can basically grab this stuff like this. And then one of the, like the fastest way or how I kind of do it like really quickly is I'll duplicate this edge using my N uh, duplicate curve tool and then duplicate this edge like this. And then I'll extend it out like this, like that. And I'll extend this out like that. And then I'll project that here onto these like this. And then so now I'll grab the I'll I'll uh I'll trim convert here like that, and I'll trim convert here like that. And then I'll delete the old ones, delete the old ones like that, and then uh, delete these curves. I don't need them anymore. And then to make sure that this these are aligned, I'll uh I'll go to my edge align and click here and here. Make sure it's edge. Make sure it's in the edge. And here too. Make sure it's all the way here. Click on edge, and then. So now we have this, right? And and I can I can grab a blend uh, curve and put it, put it here like that. And then I'll do my square tool here like this. And then make sure they're all curvature. And then in a bound, in a collinear, right? Uh here three. Oh actually they'll all be collinear. So like like see uh one and then uh and two already has curvature, but that's fine. And then, um, and then we failed on the curvature there, but we'll fix it right now because we're just kind of like slowly building it up. So now, <clears throat> uh, let's see how let's see how how uh, yeah the curvature is failing like over there too. So before we do that, I want to project this to this here. Uh, so I'm gonna go curvature project right. And this is the same align tool as the other lines, except that here is project, and then the vector is gonna be off the normal. So I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna collect. I'm gonna choose where to align it to, and now that got us there, right? So now I'm gonna trim it like that, and then uh, delete the history, and now and then. So now we're slowly, we're basically doing what that tool did automatically for us, right? And then uh, let's kind of just slowly. This won't be easy, 
This one will be easy. Oh, and, you, and make sure that that um that that every side is curvature. So I'm gonna actually detach it here, and uh, and then line it up here like that to make sure everything's good. And then uh, and then let me check out this side too. Oh yeah, that's that might have been one of the reason why we got those problems. So I'm gonna just detach it here, and then make a curvature line there. Hold on. Like that. Let me make sure that. There you go. There you go. And then this one. Oh, oh well. I wonder why. Okay. So then I'm gonna untrim. Oh no. I forgot to. Uh, uh, see, this is why I always. Um, let me revert here and revert here. That's why I always uh, delete the history. So now I'm gonna untrim all this, uh, and then I'm just gonna do the project again, like that here, here, and here, and then trim. Yeah. Okay. So there's still probably a little bit of an error here. So uh, I'm thinking first I'll check the the tangency, make sure that's good still. Okay. Now I'm gonna check the curvature. There'll probably be an error here. Yep. Oh, that one's fine. That one's fine. And then here. Uh, here, right, and then Control Shift Z to get my uh, transform CV extremely high level, and then we move it out a little bit. Let's see, and then make sure that we didn't lose position here. And there you go. So that's how you do your own like ballpoint corners when the tool fails. And uh, and yeah, so you could kind of just uh, you know take this file from my website and you know go through it and may, may, you'll get some uh, good uh, mileage in some uh, some practice on how to do it on your own um, you know don't always I would actually suggest to you know do some do all this by hand for a bit you know especially if you don't have a lot of experience in it because even though this tool is very good you know to save time and everything uh, you know what if you're in a situation where it doesn't work you know a lot you don't want to be learning these um, these uh, workflows uh, during work, right? You want to kind of already be prepared for whatever what your client or your boss uh, uh, asks you to do. So, um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a quick one, um, and uh, but I definitely wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, this tool because it was really it's extremely powerful. And also to tell you guys that there's a new file that you guys can practice with. It's on my website. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, and um, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.